Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Wisdom Wednesday broadcast with myself, Temper Robin. And today, we are going to be talking about HR trends with a very special guest in the studio with us, Jonathan Muronda. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So, Jonathan, we've got a couple of questions for you today. Awesome. Hoping to uh, shed some light on these HR trends. So, first question is, what HR trends are currently happening in the workplace that are impacting HR practitioners, employers, and employees? Well, thank you so much for that question and thank you for having me. Well, the most important thing that we need to be looking at firstly is that uh, because of what has happened recently, we're looking at the pandemic. That has really led to a lot of changes in the, in the HR field. Okay, specifically, there's now a move towards the digital platforms. Yes. Yes, so that, that is trending. That's number one thing. And there's these uh, collaborative platforms as well in HR is uh, because you are now able to uh, monitor work mm. remotely. That, that has become one of the most trending activities in HR because you, you're no longer just interested in seeing people at work. Yeah. You now want to be able to see how much work they're doing uh, and you need to be doing that remotely as well. So there's also this uh, development of something called uh, people analytics. Mm. I know we have heard of data analytics, but uh, we are trying to merge the gap now between the productivity of the employee as well as what uh, you know the, the, the HR or the management uh, his objectives are. Mm. So yes. Those so are the current trends. You, you touched on the people analytics, yes. which is obviously a very a hot topic right now. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, it is. So what are the applications of people analytics software and uh, where and how will it impact organizations and the workforce? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the reason we have this come, uh, emerging um, in recent times is because of the fact that organizations are seeing increasingly the value of maintaining the employee. Mm. Uh, you, you want to establish employee loyalty. So in order to be able to do that, you, you're not just going to do that to every employee. Um, you're trying to pick you know, the talent mm. and try to retain them. So what you need to do is to, be, to come up with some actual data mm. information that you're going to use in decision making and that information comes now from how you're going to collect data how you're going to maintain the data how you're going to use the data in decision making so what is happening now especially that, that is something interesting you're no longer just analyzing a person based on their qualifications their experience you're not coming in to look into their productivity so there is now an increase in the analysis towards production versus the the, the employee yeah. so yeah that's that's the whole essence of so so you know you, you used to walk in with a piece of paper now it's now it's just digital <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's something else. a whole nother ball game yes so our next question is in the modern world of work hr managers are becoming talent managers oh, absolutely. um can you take us through the the process of attracting hiring developing employees to be more engaged in their work and then also to be more productive you, back then it, you know it's no longer business as usual mm. back then we used to just look at uh, production and productivity that's what most organizations would look at yeah. that's it but it's not looking like that you now want to because you're now recognizing the value of talent so managers are now really worried about what, what where they can source the talent and the brand of the organization is starting to matter more mm -hmm. this time. Because you see, the best brand attracts the best talent. Right. So that's basically what's happening. So it's no longer just uh, something that is um, you, that you look at in, in a narrow perspective. It's no longer something micro. It's now a global thing, mm -hmm. where you, in order for you to attract the best people in the organization, for instance, you need to create the best brand for yourself, the best name for yourself, mm. how people perceive you. So yeah, it's a broad concept. It's not, it's not just a part of the HR activities. It's now, you know, it, it merges into all these aspects of HR management. So when you look at that talent management, you begin to notice that at the re recruiting stage, what is involved it's not it's no longer just the qualifications it's no longer the experience it's no longer even the referrals only mm -hmm. you're now looking at the brand you know secondly you're looking at what people see the organization as mm -hmm. and thirdly you're now looking at um, 
what do you do to maintain that talent within the system? Mm. And fourthly, that's the referral I mentioned earlier, referral, talent seeks or searches for talent. Mm. So you are using the, the talent that you already have in your organization to attract more talent. So that's basically what talent management allows organizations to be able to, you know, to remain productive and successful. Wow, the, the game has changed. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's not even changed, it's still changing. It's still changing, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's how the future holds. <laughs> so let's take a look at our next question. It says, uh, with more and more organizations going remote, mm. what advice do you have for managers um, in managing remote workers yeah. and practices that they can use to more efficiently monitor um, the remote workers? All right, um, so far, if you see the development of the, um, the digital platforms that, that are coming up, I mean, you, you talk of uh, the collaborative platforms like Teams, for instance, mm. the changes that we see in uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and all these, they are designed now to make the worker feel or the employee feel as if they are part of a whole. Mm. You know, they are not just part of, I mean, separate from, from the entire thing. It's no longer them and us kind of thing. Yes. They are part of the team. So one of the trends is the team development um, over time because you are beginning to realize that the most successful organizations are uh, those that uh, collaborate the ideas from the employees. So it's no longer about uh, us to them giving instruction. It's, it's no longer just a top-down kind of thing. Mm. So it's now a bottom-up approach as well to try to meet in the middle. Yes. So that's what uh, the, the digital platforms are, are, are trying to, to help out to, 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 to ensure you know, that we are able to, to get ideas from the employees as well because it's no longer the case these days that uh, the manage the guys at the top know it all. It's no longer like that. Uh, information is coming from all sides. Yeah. And uh, the, the best information is the one that comes from all angles because you are now able to make informed decisions and to, to, to better the, the, the prospects of the organization. I like, I like that, that thinking and I think it's, it's promising for all future employees is to know that, you know, the, the, the top level management is looking for ways to make sure that you're heard and include your uh, decisions and ideas in, in growing the business. So, um, as, as a last question and, and a parting question, what advice do you have for aspiring HR practitioners? First of all, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> you got to embrace advice. the future. You got to embrace the future because everything is going digital. Everything is changing. Although the company objectives or goals of organizations remain the same, mm. have remained the same, you still want uh, businesses to grow in terms of productivity. You still want businesses to maintain customer loyalty. You still want businesses to increase in terms of the investments that come through to them. You see, the objectives remain the same, but the how part is changing and it's changing fast. Yeah. So the, the advice is embrace change. Embrace change. So that's some fantastic advice. Well, there we have it. The goal is to embrace the future. Thank you, Jonathan, for, for joining us today. My pleasure. And uh, I think we learned a lot. So we're going to wrap that up for another episode of the Wisdom Wednesday broadcast. My name is Temper Robin, and thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hey, you. Hey, yeah, you. Don't miss the next episode of the Wisdom Wednesday Newsish broadcast. Give this video a like and subscribe to CTU Training Solutions YouTube channel. And if you want to apply for any of our programs and courses, click the link in the video description below. Down there. It's down somewhere there. You guys know where to find it. <laughs>